Let's make a baby. YouTube, don't demonetize me. All right, today we're gonna make the easiest villager breeder in Minecraft. Let's get to work. For your materials, you will need the following. Some dirt, a hoe, some building blocks, in my case, glass, some carrots, some water, some beds, some composters, some trap doors, and two villagers. Before we start building, important tip. When the breeder starts getting us baby villagers, those babies cannot stay with us. Those babies can break this breeder. So there's two solutions. One is build this breeder right here on the ground, but you have to move the babies away with like mine carts or boats or something like that. Solution two is build this breeder in the sky. That way the babies can fall down and they're too far away from the breeder to actually affect it. So do what you want, but just keep that in mind, okay? I'm sure it's easier in survival to do it just on the ground. So let's do that. Let's build this right over here. So step one, take out your bucket of water and somewhere in the middle of your field, break one block and place down that water. Take out your hoe and on each side of this water, hoe four pieces of grass. Do this on all sides, obviously. Then hoe all the blocks in the middle of these lines, making a gigantic square. If done correctly, it should look something like this. Next up, take out your building block. In my case, it'll be glass, and you're going to build a three high wall around this farmland. We're building this mostly for protection of the villagers, but you also can make it look kind of cool and detailed, but for the sake of this video, I'll just make it very bland and simple. After the wall is down, you're gonna come across the top and make a nice ceiling for yourself. And boom, there's a safe and secure cube for villager breeding to commence. Go to any side on your wall, in my case, I'll go right here, and break out the two middle blocks to make a little bit of like a, like a doorway kind of thing. Facing the farm, go to your doorway and take out your two trap doors. One on the top, then break out the floor, and one right there. I will note this method here was discovered by Waddles, so big shout out to Waddles. Now what this does is when we have villagers inside of here, it's like a barrier for adults so they can't get through, but the babies can't. So babies are gonna fall into this little pit here, adults can't, it's perfect. But right now, forget about that. We're gonna wanna get our villagers inside of this pen. So, get two villagers inside of here. If you're in survival mode, I recommend you either get a mine cart or a boat, or you can cure a zombie villager and carry him over here, whatever you can do, but you gotta get two villagers inside of this pen. Now, once you get your villagers inside of here, you wanna close this top trap door. So here's my two villagers, close this so they cannot escape. And boom, we have our captives. Take out your composter and place it directly above the water like this. And you're gonna see one of them will become a farmer. That's really important. You need to have at least one farmer for this breeder to work. Now you wanna go back outside, but unfortunately these guys are kind of blocking the door. So I might have to go around the side for now. I'll just do this really quick. But I uh, go outside, go back to the front and we're gonna place down our beds. So with a space of one, we're gonna place down three beds like this. This is because I don't want the villagers to be able to reach here and sleep in this thing and escape. So make sure there's a space of one, then open your bottom trap door. Here's what's going on. These guys think they're in a nice little cozy home. They got a workstation, they got some beds. They're oh so cozy. In fact, they're so cozy, they might breed. So to commence the breeding, go back inside your little chamber of love. That's a weird way to put that. And place down carrots on all your farmland. Now over time, these guys are gonna go and pick these crops and use it to feed themselves and feed their family and breed. So it kind of makes them want to breed. But to make this go faster, give them each some carrots first. This means they'll already have food in their inventory and they'll breed a lot quicker. All right, take all the food. You guys each have enough, right? Yeah, you're good, you're good. Now get out of the pit, give them their privacy and commence lovemaking. Any day now, they're taking their time. Oh, by the way, I should mention, you might wanna take out some lights to put around the outside so the crops get actual light sources. I'm not sure if that's affecting anything, but it's a good idea, so do that. Play the love music. We got it, we got a baby, perfect. Okay, that took a while, but we got it. It was the music. Come on, it was the music. Farzy set the mood. YouTube, it's a joke. Please don't demonetize me. Please, 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 please. Okay, I wasn't looking. The baby escaped. Here's the issue. You don't want the baby to be around this third bed because he'll stay here. He'll sleep here. It's not good. So we're going to just let him 
die. And what you want to do for future babies is dig them a trench down here, then make like a rail cart system going far away or a boat system, water system, whatever you want to do. But again, they cannot stay here. They need to be at least like 50 to 100 blocks away from this bed, okay? Make them go far away. And as I said earlier, this is why this farm could be better to make in the sky, but I know it's a lot harder, so do what you can. But yeah, get those babies out of here. I think the best way to do this is actually just to use water. So place on like a water source, then here at the end where it stops, dig down one and do it again. And check it out, this baby here, he has a whole water slide. Go down, test it out, dude. Go test it. There he goes, let's see, look at that. Easy water slide for the baby. And that's about it, guys. From here on out, these guys are gonna continue to breed at their own pace. It's hard to speed them up. You can try and feed them more carrots, but realistically, it does take time, so don't fret. This is like a long-term thing. This is not some like super uber-efficient farm. Making babies sure is a complicated process. In real life, too. Farzy, stop. You are literally asking to get banned from YouTube. Just stop. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more easy tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.